Good evening. This is the KPEG 6 o'clock news. The Irish Cancer Society have released statistics today that have confirmed the prediction from 2012 that cancer rates in women have increased by 136%. Tonight we have archive reports featuring a tobacco industry representative commenting on their latest marketing strategies from 1984. Sorry, please. Mr. Reynolds, why do you willingly work for the tobacco industry when you know one in two smokers will die of a smoking related illness? If there's a demand, we'll fill it. Uh, why is your target market getting younger and younger? Teenagers have proven to be the best target market. They're easily influenced by their peers. Isn't that morally wrong? Listen, money. If the God lives, we want them. Money is money. So you don't care that your product kills someone every eight seconds? No more questions. Mr. Reynolds, Mr. Reynolds, Mr. Reynolds, Mr. Reynolds. And here we have a lead protester in 2012 giving her views on the impact of tobacco growing. I am outside one of the biggest cigarette factories in Ireland. The people behind me are protesting the way Kenyan tobacco farmers are treated. These Kenyan farmers only make $1.05 a day, compared to 12 million that big tobacco make. Also, many of the labourers are children who get ill with the green tobacco sickness, which is essentially nicotine poisoning. So, not only does smoking damage your health, it damages lives. Thank you. This has been Claire Dempsey for KPEG News. I'm here at King's Cross Hospital talking to smoker Jim Kennedy. He's been diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. Jim, how has it affected you? I've had chemotherapy and radiotherapy, but the cancer came back. I have about six months to live. In 2012, 70% of Irish smokers said they wanted to give up smoking. Would you include yourself in this percentage? Yes, every day I wish I could go back and change the decision I made when I was 14. I've tried to give up so many times, but it was just too addictive. What advice would you give to teenagers who are considering smoking? Don't. It will make your life a living hell. Thank you, Jim. Rianne Byrne for KPEG News. We hope this KPEG News report has strengthened anyone's resolve not to smoke. Good night.